welcome to Spirit Coffee Talk. I'm Jeanette Byro, and with me is Elise. Catherine, Elise is away today. Uh, we have something really exciting to talk about today, which I am very pumped for. So if you guys have been following along our conversations or on Avalon Spirit or on my podcast, there's been a lot of conversation about June was an energy of um, where Spirit would feel like they were kind of pulling back a little bit, and we were really guided to tune into our higher selves, our intuition. And the reason for that was during that month, they were essentially changing the construct of time. Now to describe exactly how that works is really hard because it's not a linear process. It's a higher dimensional process that doesn't make sense necessarily in 3D terms. But the way that I can give an idea to sort of visualize it is it is like, um, metaphorically would be like building a foundation to a house. You have to set up the framework with the wood, to um, create the mold for the foundation you want, then you have to pour that foundation and then you have to let it settle before you can take those molds off and then voila, your new foundation. That's essentially what has happened in June. We have had this creating of the new time structure, the um, pouring of the new time structure and then the solidifying of this time structure and that now fully comes into play today, July 1st. And so the reason why this is such a big deal is that today is a really powerful day for each and every one of you to tune in to not just your own intuition, which has been a beautiful gift of learning this last month, but to timeline now, to your future. Now is the time you can start asking questions of like, what's coming next? What do I feel next? And although we're in still a bit of a liminal space before we do this uphill climb for the second half of this big four year journey we've been doing, we are still in a forward momentum now of a new structure of time. So that's exciting for today. How are you feeling about it, Elise? Good, I threw myself on mute. Dexter has things to say, apparently. Oh. <laughs> Packing up along. Um, so apologies <laughs> if that comes through, everybody. Um, yeah, you know, and I know we, I think we chatted about this a few weeks ago, but just this idea that, like, I, I feel like a lot of people started kind of getting some really strong forward momentum, and then it just kind of, like, er stopped or like flipped on its head and I know we referenced that for me um a few weeks ago even something as simple as like selling a house right it was like yes 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 and no <laughs> not happening um and, and not to say it's not happening but it, it it the the way in which things were going have like drastically changed and for no logical reason right no tangible reason and so if you're if you've been kind of taking stock and feeling like what is happening right now, like it doesn't feel like things are lining up or, you know, we can get into these states in our life where like things flow and it feels really effortless and things fall into place. And it's that trusting of the universe and things kind of falling in that hasn't really been happening for a lot of folks lately. And, and not to say everybody, but for the majority, I would say it's, it's been a little bit of a clunky ride and kind of feeling like you're getting whiplash pulled in, in a number of different directions. And so I've been feeling this real like sense of anticipation and I think, and, and I know a lot of my clients have too, and it's this like edging towards this new house essentially to continue with your metaphor, right? It's we're getting closer to, okay, foundation's been poured. We can see the walls are starting to go up. We're getting excited about moving and moving into that new phase or the new house, right? And, and I think when we start to feel that anticipation, you know, like we talked about last week, we're going to talk about in a few weeks again, um, Roe versus Wade and everything that's happening in the world. I know I'm looking around and being like, what, <laughs> where, what is happening? And yet there can still be this sense of excitement or anticipation. And, and I think that really speaks to kind of the duality of what can be happening in our 3D world that feels really heavy, that's hard, that we're pushing back against or that we're fighting against or whatever it is for you. Um, individually or collectively, but then you can kind of still feel that like, oh, good things are still coming. There's goodness coming, or I can feel the anticipation of a big change coming in my life or something big is going to happen, or maybe a bunch of small things are going to happen. And we might not have an understanding of what that looks like or the details of even what it is, but it's that kind of deep sensation of like, mm, something, something's coming and, and I can maybe feel excited about that, or I can feel, um, the, the bigness of it, or I don't want to say the weight because that implies like negative, but the maybe the weight of a big change coming. Um, and I think that's what we're really starting to 
feel. And I know a lot of other folks are as well. And I know I have been. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think we'll start seeing uh, more alignments of those synchronistic events. And some I'm seeing right now too, uh, because there's been a delay, like this pause sort of, um, it's almost like, what's my example? They're showing it to me like it'll speed up. So it may even from today forward feel like for a week and a bit, things are going really fast and several things like several dominoes fall down. And that's not a negative. That's just several events happening one after the other really quickly in the next few days to kind of get ourselves caught back up on the same path where like the higher realm energies and our earthly energies are moving at the same pace because for June, it's almost like theirs was kind of pulled back while they were setting that foundation and we've been moving forward and spirits like just trust, keep going, keep going, we'll catch up. And then there's going to be this catch up. And so we might really feel and observe that. Now, the other thing that I find interesting is this is happening on the heels of a really powerful new moon that we had on Tuesday, right? And that's in new moon as always is time for setting intentions, uh, new energy, but it's in the energy of cancer season. So that's like emotional. Uh, so I think I would recommend, and I don't know I'm going to do this as we tune into the energy of today is really kind of reestablish or reaffirm those intentions. Now that we're in the present energy and it's kind of going to be moving at the same pace with us, is really let that ripple through the merging, essentially, to bring that goodness of what we want. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, and you know, I just um, was kind of having some stuff coming in around. I was like, oh, I wonder if we should talk about like the idea of changing the structure of time because that might feel like a bit of a to like what that we can do that. But if you think about it, like days weeks, months, years, like that is all something that is structured around Earth's function, right? And how the sun and the moon and, and we've labeled it as such, right? Um, and I'm sure like physics and science plays a, a role in that. But it, that's not to say that like everywhere and anywhere in the whole universe, there's like days and months and years, right? It, it as we know, in space travel, right? It, it, we can age our bodies, like there's just so much vastness to that whole experience. And so that was kind of a tangent that my brain went on. And then what um, Spirit was saying, because I mean, I'm still really on a lot of the stuff that's going on in the world right now. It's still kind of chewing at the back of my mind. And I'm trying to kind of feel into my own feelings about it and, and what I want to do to, um, you know, support my own opinions, and etc. And what I feel is right. Um, and, and that's been really like kind of stirring around in my mind and, and almost a, a conversation with myself about, well, but how is this going to change? Like, what are we going to do? And Spirit was just saying, think of the vastness of opportunities to heal the world, to change your own life, to um, make a new, like have a new start or, or try something different. What if there's, oh, 111, hi dad. Um, what if there's such vast potential, just as there's vast potential for days to not exist, for time to not exist, right? Like, there's so much more available to us um, when we think of those like broader perspectives. And I'm not really sure why I'm going on this tangent, but it's, there's, there, there's a real, and I'm not even sure I'm giving it full justice. So maybe I'll have to like pause and, and let them continue to bring it out of me. But um, yeah, I think there, there's, there's something really important around this time about can you get out of your own structures of how things should look? can you start to like think of the broader perspective, especially when we're talking about there's a new template that's been poured and we're kind of just in the first day and entering into that and we just ended a new moon and maybe you set some intentions or maybe you didn't, but you can still do that. Like, can you broaden the perspective of what that might look like? Can you, when, when we think of time doesn't have to exist in a linear way, what if the things that you want don't exist in a linear way? What if the, the way that your life is structured doesn't have to exist in a linear way. So like really maybe, I think maybe the message here is like tuning into the, like the, the vast potentials that are available for you in this new space. Mm -hmm. and new I, I love that. I think that's great because curiosity, and we've talked about this curiosity is one of the best things to keep as a lens, I guess, right? Like keep those lenses, that lens of curiosity near, as we move through this, especially in this new time. Um, I think too, 
there is going to be an invitation or challenge, depending on how we observe it, to really break free from further paradigms. And I think we're going to be, and when I say paradigms, I say preconceived boxes of how things should be, like you were talking about. And I think when we feel confronted with those or triggered or just we're noticing it's showing itself is to step back, like you said, and really consciously choose like, oh, here's an opportunity where something is different. Okay, so now that it's like a new opportunity, new slate, kind of like a new school year, remember like you would start a new school year and like, okay, this is grade nine, new year, new me, uh, you know, and it just felt like endless possibility. New backpack. New backpack, <laughs> yeah. Binders. <laughs> totally. I feel like that same kind of awe and excitement of that time is something that would be really helpful as we approach today and moving forward like today and the rest of the summer is like be like that kid with their new backpack new pencils and a new willingness for adventure and learning because the amount that we're going to change now in this second phase of the four years like we are officially in the second phase of the four years this this is huge yeah right so we have so much wisdom under our belt now because of everything we experienced on, I'll call it the downfall, right? The downward slide. Now we're moving through this liminal space and by the fall time, we're gonna be hitting that upward slope. And yes, upward slopes can be challenging, right? It's not fun hiking uphill, but think about where you're going. You're gonna reach that top and along the way, your views are gonna get higher and higher, more sunlight and so on versus the downward slope that we really felt we were on but was essential for the awakening that we're going through. Mm -hmm. Some of us were like guides on the way down saying, I know it's really bad, I'm so sorry, but we gotta keep sliding. We're gonna hit the water at the bottom. It'll be cold, mm -hmm. but let's keep going because on the other side is gonna be worth it. So this second phase that we are stepping into has so much promise, even though it might be challenging, but it's like significant upward promise. And that's what something, that's something spirit has been telling me over and over and over. And so I think so that we don't get in our own way, having that lens of curiosity and that like novice beginner high school kind of feeling of on wonder would really help us moving forward to try and like, kind of like go with the bitterness, right? Like bitterness isn't going to help us yet. I can understand why there would be so much bitterness by this point, mm -hmm. right? Who feels lovely at the end of a big downward slope? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Not really anybody. Yeah, yeah. And I think, you know, there's been so much for so many people on a multitude of levels and different communities and all sorts of things. And I know a lot of people, and I feel like, gosh, we've been saying this for the last two years, but a lot of people are like, I can't hold any more things. I, my backpack is maxed. I've got things on the front now. I've got things like I'm carrying as much as I can. And then we get another thing and another thing. And, and, you know, beautifully met many of us are rising to that, uh, where, where we can through, you know, our own healing and self care kind of along the way, you know, we're taking those pit stops, um, to, to support ourselves hopefully, but it's, it is tough. And so at the end of a really exhausting period and not even to say we're at the end, but you know, once you've gone through a period of time, that's been really exhausting or really challenging or heavy or whatever it's been for you. It's like, yeah, there is, frustration and resentment and you feel kind of beaten down and battered um and and we need to care for ourselves and support ourselves through that mm -hmm. um and not deny it and say like just pick back up and keep carrying on um because we do need those spaces of care for ourselves um but after those periods of care it's like okay can I move forward keep going maybe I've learned something in my little self-care period or in that last phase that I can bring with me to help lighten the load of all of the things I'm carrying. Can I maybe put some of them down because I'm realizing, oh, I actually don't need them. Um, can I give some to other people because maybe that's more in their wheelhouse to deal with or whatever it is. I think it's normal and, and natural for us to feel like, oh my gosh, how much more of this do we have? And those frustrating feelings and, and all of those things. And, you know, like you said, we are kind of in that upswing um, of the two year period. And I, I find it really interesting that you were you that today we just kind of went on the analogy of with the time pouring the foundation and the house and they're just kind of reminding me of this because I feel like it's no coincidence that 
all along we've been saying like we're we're tearing down the moldy house we're tearing down we gotta we gotta restart because you can't patchwork this there's too much mold there's too much garbage everywhere we need to like slate clean start from scratch and that's kind of what we've been saying like collectively is happening so i find it really interesting that now today we're saying like and the foundation has been poured as in okay we're ready to rebuild now like let's yeah. We might, you know, have a few things that we still need to dig up. There's some old pipes in there that apparently, it's kind of a funny analogy given everything that's going on, but, you know, there's there's things that we still might need to address and, and issues that might arise, um, but we're like, we're in the building phase and do you want to build the same old house or do you want to dream big? Um, do you want to like look for new designs and new ways of living and maybe you build a smaller house, but it's more you know, spacious for you or, or aligned with you or whatever it is, taking the analogy like further and further and further. But I think it's kind of an interesting tie in of all of those things that has just kind of come together and we're, we're in the building phase now. So it's like, can we start to get excited for that? Um, I was listening to a really interesting podcast and I can't remember the name of it. So it's very unhelpful of me to share that. But um, the, the guy was essentially talking about how the way we get out of a lot of the world issues, climate change, whatever, is evolution of thought. It's not about doing the same old things. And I think that's how we move forward personally too, mm -hmm. um, is that evolution of thought, of our perspective. Um, how do we access that? Well, I think there's a whole lot of beings and energies and, and realities out there that probably know a lot more than us. And so again, it's all kind of feeding into itself. Of The more we evolve, the more we support ourselves through that evolution, the more that evolution of thought will happen and the more we can start to dream bigger and, and think about different ways of building a house that maybe we've never thought of before. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And Spirit's been talking about that, how they said, remember they were, um, no, I did it on a video. I talked about connect into your untapped potential because they said there's like, there's a ton of information that they've been bringing down that is literally kind of floating in the ethers. And that's how these like, amazing ideas of major shifts in consciousness of innovation all that kind of stuff come in they're like essentially it floats around there and whoever's energy can reach up can find that piece and then bring it into manifestation and that's why sometimes like if we take spirituality for example many are ascending because many are connecting to that higher draw of energy and so there's a lot of stuff floating in the ethers there really good stuff that we can tune into and again we need to have a high enough frequency to tune into that. We don't have to be like perfect gurus to access it. We just need to have a higher frequency of like joy and potentials and, and faith and hope somewhere in self to reach those pieces and bring them down. And so I think we're gonna start seeing too, a lot of innovation coming into play. So I think that's interesting that that's all tying together. And isn't that neat how it happens? Again, this idea of retrospect, which we've talked about, like we're literally putting pieces of retrospect together right now mm -hmm. from the messages that have been coming through, mm -hmm. which is really like quite cool. Years. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Huh. Well, um, any other thoughts or ideas for today for anyone? Any other messages coming through? I really, I do feel like July specifically, we're still going to really be like percolating in that. Like, I don't necessarily feel like we go zero to a hundred Kate July 1st, everything's rolling off. We go like we're on the, you know, the ascend up. It's, I, I feel like we're kind of in a bit of, bit of a middle ground in the Valley right now to continue on with your, you know, hiking analogy. We're kind of in the Valley and crossing and maybe things will stay a little bit. So just to kind of offer maybe, not putting too much pressure for like things to change really fast or like something to be flipped on its head. Maybe it will, but um, just kind of giving some space for, I know I get impatient. <laughs> so if things aren't like moving fast. I'm like, what is going on? Mm -hmm. So just, you know, kind of giving some space for that things to, to percolate. And then I feel like August, which is a fiery month, right? So um, from a, a astrological perspective. So I feel like maybe that's when things will start to kind of kick in there's also the uh, Lionsgate portal that happens in August so mm -hmm. yeah I feel like I feel like August will be when things really start to roll and we're actually starting the the hike yeah yeah that, that'll be really interesting I'm so curious to get to know this new 
time. Mm-hmm. Really Any curious. Thoughts from you? Um. Okay, yeah, they're saying the whole purpose of changing this construct of time was to bring in stability. They're like, we know that the the ground has felt really unstable, right? Like being on planet Earth has felt really, really unstable the last two and a bit years. And so they're saying the whole reason for changing this, although it was very disruptive for many people, like it was very disruptive. Um, they're saying is to bring in more stability. So their invitation is come and discover the feeling and the energy of stability in this new energy so that we can really feel like rooted here and kind of get to work. And I mean, if I used it like a company analogy, it's like they brought in a really good structured system so that the employees can really work hard and be independent, but working like for the greater collective of the company. It's kind of like that. So they're bringing in it was all to bring in more stability so we can maybe settle and ground into that. So I would imagine then some grounding exercises would really be good or just spending time in nature, you know, whether it be tree root meditations coming out of your feet, just walking around bare feet in nature, considering it's summer and the, you know, this side of the world. Um, yeah, so that would be probably really helpful and just, yeah, be curiously observant of how life is for you, what seems to be happening, and then just con- consciously choosing. It's going to really help dictate where things are going for you. So, yeah. I'm curious how many metaphors we can cram into one. <laughs> <laughs> we went like three or four this way. I know, it's so good. But I mean, I truly, okay. when we're talking about time, there is no other way to describe non-3D time structures in 3D besides using metaphors. Right? So aliens are probably like use Earth as a metaphor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like if you really want to cram yourself into a little box, be like Earth, like how Earth acts. <laughs> <laughs> totally. That's funny. Uh, all right. Well, um, thank you everyone so much for joining us today. If you have enjoyed this, please do share, subscribe, uh, hit that like button. And uh, if you want to dive deeper into your own journey of exploring consciousness, check out avalonspirit.com. We have lots of different personal journey guides as well as ourselves on there to help you discover you on your path forward. So check that out if it resonates and uh, we will not be here next week. Next week yeah. We will be away next week, but then we are going to be back the next week with something extra awesomely exciting. So definitely tune in then. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys soon.